Holy Spirit has shown me that we are entering into a new season. It's a new season of His glory, which will fulfill Isaiah uh, chapter 60, verses 1 to 5. So I want to read those scriptures. It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and the deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and the kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together, they come to you. Your sons shall come from afar, and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Then you shall see and become radiant and your heart shall swell with joy, because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you, and the wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. So let's take a look at these scriptures. It says that the glory of the Lord is risen upon you, and the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Okay, so his glory is being poured out according to Isaiah 60 verses 1 to 5 and his glory will indeed be seen upon his people. We will appear as a bright white light which is his light. When his glory is poured upon us we will glow with his light. The resurrection light of Yahushua is the light that will be seen upon us. The light upon us will draw people unto the Lord. Then in verse 5 it says, Then you shall see and become radiant. The Hebrew word for radiant is nahar, which means to shine, beam, light, and burn. So we will shine his light and people will actually see us as brilliant lights. So I want to give you three scriptural examples to show you that this indeed has already happened in scriptures and it will happen again. Exodus 34 uh, verse 29 says this, Now it was so, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, and the two tablets of the testimony were in Moses' hand when he came down from the mountain, that Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. Now the Hebrew word for shone is karon, which means to shine and to send out rays. So when Moses was talking to Abba Father on Mount Sinai, the glory of Father God was manifested on Moses' face. When he came down from the mountain, he didn't realize his face was glowing with the glory of the Lord. And as a result um, of his face glowing, um, the people became fearful um, to the point where Moses had to put a veil on his face. The second example was when Jesus, Yahushua, went up onto the mountain with three of his disciples and the scripture says he was transfigured. Um, this scripture uh, can be found in Matthew uh, chapter 17, 1 to 5, Mark chapter 9, verses 1 to 7, and Luke uh, chapter 9, verses 27 to 35. But I want to read the Matthew scripture 17, 1 to 5. Now, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, led them up on a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as the light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with him. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, let us make here three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. So we see that, that Yahushua, Jesus Christ's appearance, was changed um, to a dazzling and divine brightness on the Mount of Transfiguration. This was the Father glorifying His Son in front of His disciples. Then it says that bright cloud overshadowed them. This bright cloud actually was the glory cloud of the Father overshadowing them, and that's when the voice came out of the cloud saying, 
This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. So when we have the glory of father upon us, he will confirm us just as he confirmed his son, Yahushua. He will confirm us with signs, wonders, and miracles happening in his glory. It says, Gentiles shall come to our light and kings to the brightness of our rising. So we will have spiritual sons and daughters that will be birthed into the kingdom of God as a result of his glory shining upon us. In 2 Corinthians 4, 6, it says this, For it is God who commanded light to shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we are headed into a great end time revival uh, when the glory of Father will shine upon us and this will actually fulfill Isaiah 60, 1 to 5. The third scriptural example can be found in the book of Acts. Right before P uh, Stephen was stoned to death, he was testifying before the council of Jerusalem. So let's pick that up in Acts uh, chapter 6, verse 15. All who sat in the council, looking steadfastly at him, saw his face as the face of an angel. They saw the face of Stephen as the face of an angel because the glory of Father was upon Stephen, which caused his face to appear like a face of an angel. And in Acts 6, 8, it says, And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. So when the glory of God is upon his people, there will always be great signs and wonders to validate that it is actually the glory of Father upon us. Now, we, we need to understand when this happens and that people see the glory of Father upon us, we must never, ever take his glory. We must always lead people and let them know that this is the glory of the Lord and that the signs, wonders, and miracles are, that are occurring is a result of his glory and that he gets all the glory. Amen. So Stephen then gave a powerful speech that convicted the people and this is what happened in scriptures okay so acts 7 verses 54 to 56 when they heard these things they were cut to the heart and they gnashed at him with their teeth but he being full of the holy spirit gazed into heaven and saw the glory of god and jesus standing at the right hand of god and said look i see the heavens opened and the son of uh, man standing at the right hand of god so not only was the glory of the Lord uh, manifested in Stephen's face, but he actually saw the glory of God when the heavens were opened up. So it was the glory that allowed Stephen uh, to, uh, to have the power to say these words while he was being stoned to death. He said, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. In 1 Peter 4.14, it says, if you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you for the spirit of glory and of God rest upon you. On their part, he is blasphemed, but on your part, he is glorified. So when we come into these, this last uh, end time revival and, and we are reproached for the name of Christ, and we are reproached because we are, are preaching the gospel of, of Yahushua, the gospel of Jesus Christ, just know that the spirit of glory and the spirit of Father rest upon you. Amen? So I want to leave you with these words of the Lord, and this is what he said to me. He said, Child, I have stirred in your heart the meaning of Isaiah 60 verses 1 to 5. This happened when you saw the manifestation of my glory on my handmaiden, Ruth Heflin. You saw the gold dust on her face as she preached on my glory. He said, this indeed was my glory manifested. Now, this actually, I actually was watching just recently a video that was uh, uh, filmed at Ruth Heflin's um, camp in Virginia and she was preaching, it was in 1999. And as she was preaching on the glory, I noticed that in the video, she began to sweat and she began to take a, a, a Kleenex and she was patting her face. <clears throat> and so the more she preached on the glory, I saw it with my, my own eyes, I saw that sweat that was coming from her pores actually 
change to this gold glittery substance um, on her face. And um, as she turned from side to side, you could actually see her face just glittering with this gold. And it was then that the Lord was stirring upon my heart about Isaiah 60 verses 1 to 5. Now I want to continue with the message that the Lord gave me. He said, my people are about to enter into a new season where my glory will be seen upon them. You will glow with my presence. It will be visible to people. He said, my presence manifested as my glory light will draw sinners to repentance, heal sick bodies, deliver from the demoniacs, mend broken hearts and fill people with the fire of my spirit. He said, this will all happen in my glory light, which will be seen by many. And then after he said that, he said, lift up your hands and receive. So immediately I lifted up my hands and said, Lord, I receive. So I want you right now to just lift your hands up right now and say, Lord, I receive, I receive. And I also want to conclude with this powerful scripture, Psalm 24, verses 7 to 10. It says this, Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, lift up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory.